What is going on? So, got a fun project today. That is going. And this is getting built and put in its place. It's just me and my boy. So you're about to enjoy probably a couple hours of misery on my part. But behind there is 320 pounds of corn that we'll put in there as soon as we get done. But first things first, I gotta get rid of this one that's been here for like six, seven years now. Get that out of the way so that way we can figure out where the new one's gonna go somewhere in this general area. But let's get this started. This is gonna take a while. There it is. You can see the size of it. It's huge. A lot better than that thing over there. But I'm gonna go ahead and start the time lapse and we'll get this started. So it's actually going a lot quicker than I expected because uh, we are now on to the legs portion of the install, but I think we're on break for lunch. But as you can see, there it is. It's pretty big. I don't know how we're going to get it up. That's going to be the fun part. I don't know. What she, that's what she said. All right. I'll come back to you after lunch. All right. Scarf down our golden chick. And now we're going to go ahead and get back to install here, or building, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I do say, I like how they did this system here. Everything is labeled step by step, each bolts. So you don't have like a giant pile of bolts, you got to figure out which goes in what step. So that has been nice and handy. But now, move on to the legs, and then try to figure out how to get this 150 pound feeder up in the air. So, I'm gonna start the time lapse again. Alright, so I don't have to go back and look at the camera, but I believe that probably took about two and a half hours. Yeah. It's complete. Uh, I left the bottom rung of stairs off because uh, I saw people say that if you leave those on, the coons can climb up and get to the box over there. Uh, so I'm leaving that off, but I will always just back the truck up to that step there because my tailgate is going to be about perfect to load the corn from there all the way up there and not have to climb all those stairs. So. Uh, I just gotta fill it up with corn and then I got one last thing I gotta install on my post and paw, maybe on the stand of the feeder. I've got two homemade green lights, which I will show you uh, here in a minute, but let me go ahead and get the corn up in there. All right, so to finish this off, Amazon solar powered lights, green tail light tent. I double layered it. I'm going to mount that on the pole over there. I might mount them both on there, or I might mount one on the pole and find a way to mount one on the stand, I'm, or the feeder. I don't know why I keep calling it stand. Probably because it's so damn big, but... Uh, yeah, that's an easy way to get some light at your feeder that's green and not have to pay the price of some of these uh, hunting shops with their ridiculous prices. Green taillight tent, and I think this was like... $29 for a pack of two on Amazon. Let's see this boy. Oh. 
Yeah. I told you. One bag down. So we got it finished before sunset. From my little window here, it's about a little more than halfway full of corn, so that should last a while. I only have one feeding time per day at eight o'clock at night because that's about what time it starts getting active out here. I don't want it going off too early and getting the cows' attention, so that's why I set it for eight. The cows are normally all the way at the front or all the way across the field, bedded down by that time. So, got my light mounted here and there. So, now we just gotta let it run and start bringing in the pigs. I'll probably need to make a mash corn to throw out around here, but uh, that one over there was there for like eight years. You can see between the cows and the pigs, they pretty much unearthed the feet. Uh, hopefully that will not happen with this one because this is an extremely heavy unit. So that's going to conclude this video and you'll probably see this set up in some hunting videos hopefully in the near future so i will catch you on the next video so as you can see the lights work pretty great